What's going on everyone? You're here with Bit Savage and I have an amazing guest on the show today. Let's talk crypto. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself to the people out there. Oh yeah. I'm Isaiah Jackson, also known as Bitcoin Zay. Uh definitely glad to be here, man. Glad Bitcoin to be here. Bitcoin Zay, world world renowned artist, <laughs> <laughs> author. Uh so definitely tell us a little bit about your book. Oh, yeah. Um you know what? Let's go to the beginning, you know. How did you get in the crypto space? What's mm -hmm. What's that story? Oh yeah, well, in 2013, uh, I actually wow. heard about, uh, <laughs> actually heard about Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, 2000. I'm, I'm, I'm an old head. That's uh, like second wave, third wave, right? Yeah, now. it was, it was back then, and even then, I thought it was too late because I, you know, I learned first from Max Kaiser, okay. who was in 2011. So gotcha. it kind of makes you gotcha. look like you're late at the time. Like, man, yeah. I missed it. Uh, okay. But of course, that was really early for the space, and started 2013. Uh, I was a teacher at the time, so it was more of a money play. I was like, I need some money. Teachers don't get paid anything, unfortunately. So it was kind of an investment? Sort of an investment. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, it was started as an investment, and then, of course, look more at the technology going forward. But okay. yeah, definitely okay. at first, I was too broke to care. And I was like, <laughs> I'll just try anything right now as a teacher. So cool. that was first uh, when I started, uh, 2013. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Yeah. And um, so kind of fast forward to now, do you mm -hmm. use crypto in your everyday life? Or are, you, are you using crypto? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, about 80% crypto right now. <laughs> um, and most of the time, uh, I have to convert it. Yeah. It's a joke with me and with one banker guy. Uh, shout out to him. <laughs> he always laughs because I wear my Bitcoin hoodie in there. And I always tell him, I was like, it's going to be over one day. You might yes. as well come to this side. <laughs> come to For the I most see. part, you can do a lot of purchases with Bitcoin. That's and true. I just want to be an example. I still have accounts on both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, got, got the fiat USD, got the crypto. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I do you know, gray those lines, blur those lines. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I also champion, you know, being able to accept just new forms of payment, yeah. uh, new, newer technologies. Mm -hmm. And that's really what I'm for. No, um, doing just taking an hour a day, a little bit of research mm -hmm. and seeing what's happening. Um, absolutely. A little, a little bit of a sidestep. Netflix is seeing like some heat oh, man. from all these streaming uh, entities coming out. They Disney, need the competition. You need the competition. Mm -hmm. So as an individual, as a business, you have to look at just what's happening so you won't get left to the wayside. Mm -hmm. yeah. Transitioning Absolutely. into Bitcoin <laughs> Black America. Oh yeah, well. What's, what's that about? Like I said, fast forward <laughs> from 2013, after learning how to trade, taking some courses, you know, through Princeton and a few other places, it was kind of hard to find it, but decided to get into consulting and most of my clients were Black Americans. Oh. And uh, a lot of them suggested that I wrote a book because for them, it's easier if they can take, you know, uh, actual product, read through it, and then go through it I like see. that way. I see. Um, as okay. far as convincing them to buy it, because okay. me showing okay. up is going to take forever. I can't gotcha. be everywhere at once. Okay. And I was running around North yeah, Carolina, where like, I'm from. I'm driving everywhere, you know, yet. trying to meet you. people. So it was basically okay. like through them, uh, through their, you know, basically nudge. I started writing the book, <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know, at the beginning, I wrote probably a paragraph, and I was like. This ain't gonna, nobody wants to read a book about Bitcoin Black America, uh -huh. and this was about a year ago, and uh, I really, wow. really uh, did a I did a good amount, but uh, after Nipsey Hussle passed, uh, you know, in oh, March, uh, rest in peace to him, that kicked it in overdrive. Yeah. I okay. basically took that example. It was like, we don't have, you don't have how much time you yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. He was a young man, and you know, I'm only three years behind him, and I'm like, man, you know, I gotta, wow. I gotta wow. make sure I'm doing what I'm saying I'm doing. You don't know how long you have, so okay. that's what kicked it in overdrive, and then the you know last. Three months of it definitely got out everything I wanted to in the book, and that's how Bitcoin and Black America got here. Can which we see the book? Yeah, absolutely. Check it out, Bitcoin Black America. Go get it mm -hmm. right now. What's the website? Oh yeah, www.bitcoinandblackamerica.com is where you can buy, purchase the book. Also available on Amazon. Uh, available there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin Zay, definitely oh, yeah. congrats on this. Mm -hmm. uh, and Isaiah Jackson. Now this is going to inspire me to write my book.